Okay, I'm gonna late for this event. Been avoiding Monster for a whole week. Come on. <sighs> what a disaster. I didn't even make it through the qualifiers. How'd you do? Uh, I didn't do any better. I was beaten by that little Timmy kid. I've only ever seen him out there feeding pigeons. No clue how he got to be such a good card player. The next round's starting soon, right? Let's head over and watch the matches. I'm curious to see who will win the grand prize. Okay, so we'll Did beat Timmy. A grand prize? Sounds like they were talking about a card competition. They must be talking about Genius Invocation TCG. And Genius Invocation Tournament. Hmm. Do you think there will be any taste food at the venue? Should be. But let's go ask Diana for details. Oh, I'm not even sure how my deck is at the moment. I uh, got this Wait, sketch what? girl. <gasps> Am I seeing double? Do you have two tails? Your eyes are working just fine. Yes, I have two tails. You want to pet them? Wow. Um, does it hurt when your tail splits into two? Which one did you grow first? Oh, and what do you do when they start moving around while you're asleep? Oh, well, uh. Oh, uh, huh. sorry if those were tricky questions. I've just never seen anyone with two tails before. Who's Diana chatting with? Hmm, from her outfit, Paimon would guess she's probably from Inazuma. <laughs> oh, don't worry, kid. I'm sure you'll be growing a couple of tails of your own in no time. Huh? You think I can grow two tails as well? Sure, you're a yokai too, right? Your yokai power must be really strong if you can already take on human form. Oh. I was just climbing a tree one day when another tail popped out, just like that. People started calling me, uh, um, um uh, Nekomata, I think. Yokai? Nekomata? Uh, no, 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 no. You got it all wrong. My ears and tail are part of my cat's line bloodline. Oh. So, you're not a Mondstadt yokai? Mondstadt doesn't have anything like yokai. Is this your first time here? Yep. Fortunately for me, the company I work for has been expanding, so I'm now getting the opportunity to travel to cities all over to that. Oh, it's been such a pleasure chatting with you that I almost lost track of time. I'd better get going, or I'll be late for my next customer. Diona of the Ketzline clan, your pickup is complete. Thank you for choosing Komania Express. Great! Feel free to come hang out anytime! Yeah, but it feels like Do she's missing. Do yokai have tails in Inazuma? She's missing some ears there. Oh! Her feet as well. Hey, Diona! Hmm? Oh! Traveler and Paimon! Hey! What brings you back to Mondstadt? Well, we figured it's been a while since we visited the cat's tail, so we thought we'd come and say hi! Oh, and by the way, who was that just now? Oh, she's a courier from Komania Express. They're an international delivery service operating out of Inazuma. Huh? Is the cat's tail doing international business now? No, 
no, no, no. A customer left some goods with us and arranged for Komani Express to pick them up. <laughs> That's all. I didn't mind. You've been to Inazuma, right? Did you, um, see lots of yokai like her there? I saw some wings on their back. Oh. Um. Was she a yokai? I think I'm not sure who's talking about. The others with fox ears. Right! But this is actually the first time we've ever seen one with two tails. Wow! I'd love to go see for myself one day. Huh. Anyway, what were you two here for again? Did you need me for something? Oh, yeah! Paimon almost forgot. Do you know anything about a Genius Invocation TCG tournament? Apparently, there's prizes and stuff. A tournament? Oh, you must mean the one being organized by the Adventurers Guild. It's a pretty big event. They even had posters imported from Inazuma. But I'm busy with things here, so uh, I didn't sign up. I don't know all the details. Uh, maybe try asking my boss. Got it. Well, with any luck, we'll win some more, and then we'll treat you to some yummy food. Huh. What do you mean, luck? I'm the one who taught you how to play, after all. Thanks, coach. That's now like it. Okay, you two should probably get going now. Head to the Fountain Plaza. My boss usually takes a walk around there at this time of day. All right, we'll go there right away. Which is the hey, Margaret. We thought we might find you here. Oh, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. It's been a while, hasn't it? Let me guess. Back to play some cards? Uh, it's not like we only ever come back to Mondstadt to play cards. Oh, really? I just assumed you were here to take part in the King of Invocations Grand Prix. King of Invocations Grand Prix? Oh, that must be the Adventurers Guild one that Diana mentioned. Mm-hmm, that's the one. Genius Invocation TCG has been attracting more and more players lately. The Adventurers Guild arranged for venues in every city to hold a regional tournament for the King of Invocations Grand Prix. The rewards are quite substantial. Mondstadt is already at the final stage, so I'm afraid you might be a little too late to get that prize. It's all right. There's bound to be a next time. This card game came out of nowhere and has already taken the world by storm. Who knows where it'll go next? The game's creators must be ecstatic with all this success, don't you think? It's unbelievably popular. Yeah, and it only gets more fun the more people there are to play it with. I really want to play now. I want to win the tournament. Well, you may have missed the boat on the official event, but there's also an unofficial tourney organized by some players. Would that interest you at all? Unofficial tourney? That's right. With all the excitement surrounding the main tournament, players can hardly contain their enthusiasm. So they've set up an unofficial tourney aimed at a larger player base. Okay. You can sign up at any time and play however many matches you want. They even have pre-built decks for players to use. Hmm, oh, and the rewards are pretty generous too. Paima likes the sound of this. Thanks for the info, Margaret. We'll go check it out. You're welcome. There are plenty of booths at the venue offering food and other fun activities, so it's definitely worth a visit. Who knows? You might even bump into some old friends there. <laughs> right. If there's nothing else you needed, I'll be continuing my walk now. Your abilities? Winning the grand prize in the official tournament would have been as easy as pie! Just imagine it! Honorary Knight defeats foes and emerges as tournament champion! The headline practically writes itself. Hmm? Do my ears deceive me? Or do you two have some breaking news to share with me? Whoa! Uh, who, who are you? And why the heck are you eavesdropping on us? Oh, 
sorry. Force of habit. I tend to keep my ears peeled at all times. Didn't even realize I was listening in. Let me introduce myself. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird from Fontaine. I've been posted here to cover the King of Invocations Grand Prix. Mm. The Steambird? Me her. Sounds familiar. The Steambird is a major news outlet headquartered in Fontaine and widely acclaimed all over Tavat. We even have regular columnists based right here in Mondstadt. Ooh, okay. Paimon's name is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. What was that you were saying about some breaking news? Oh, looks like I've managed to pique your interest. Well, the truth is that my keen reporting senses are telling me that this competition will be chock full of huge news stories. Huge news stories? You sure your senses are reliable? Absolutely! After all, I've seen it with my own eyes. There's a criminal who's been slinking around the competition venue, and his name is... The Card Snatcher. Card Snatcher? Mm-hmm. He stole his opponent's cards when they weren't looking. I was about to try and chase him down, but the next moment, he disappeared into thin air. But why would someone want to steal other people's cards? Maybe to gain an edge on his opponents, perhaps he just wants to throw off the other's com other competitors. <laughs> Whatever the truth of the matter, it's my job as a journalist to dig up all the gory details and turn them into my very own exclusive news piece. So, what do you think? Want to join me in my quest to uncover the sensational story that's hiding behind the scenes? Hmm, that does sound interesting. But why us? Any reason you singled us out in particular? Are you kidding me? It's a no-brainer, considering you're the honorary knight who saved Mondstadt. The hero of Liyue who fought alongside the Adepti. A key player in the repealing of Inazuma Sokoku Decree. And the redeemer of the Sumeru Academia. Okay, okay, point taken. Yeah, it seems like we've ended up making quite a big name for ourselves, huh? And she really did her homework. Let's hear some more of our accomplishments. Hey, we've got better things to do than listening to that. Hmm. I promise you, teaming up with me will be a great move for you. For starters, when my exclusive news article is published, you'll be credited as contributors. Not to mention that being in a news agency makes me pretty well connected. That'll come in real handy if you're ever traveling in Fontaine. And if you ever wanted to run an ad in the paper one day, no problem. I could make that happen. That actually sounds genuinely useful. What do you think, Traveler? Yeah, looking for my sister in the newspaper. Uh, why not? We've got some time on our hands. And this car card snatcher sounds interesting. Great! Then welcome to the news crew. Ah, I've heard that the Traveler always lends a helping hand, so it's nice to know that you live up to your reputation, but even nicer to experience it for myself. Now then, before we start investigating our card snatcher, I have one other small task to take care of first. That Mondstadt columnist who I mentioned earlier is a longtime favorite of the Steambird's readership. Management thought that a cash bonus was in order, so I brought it along with me. Mm. Oh, so we're gonna go meet them now? Yep, I have the address right here. We just need to make a slight detour to drop off the Mora, then we'll be on our way. <laughs> I thought you would have figured out who it is I'm talking about by now. From what I've heard, you're quite well acquainted. We're well acquainted with everybody. Mm, that doesn't narrow it down much. We know lots of people in Mondstadt. <sighs> Never mind, just lead the way, Charlotte. Hmm. It would make sense for... Hmm. Who could it be? Oh, uh, big I'd assume. After all, you gotta be pretty well off to live in the city, right? Uh, that still doesn't really narrow it down. Oh. We know lots of people with lots of mora. No. Wow, I guess being a national hero earns you friends in high places. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, she's the only one we know the house. Here we are. Wait here a moment. I'll go hand over the cash. Well, and do look.
do the knights live at their headquarters? Traveler and Paimon, what brings you here? And I'm sorry, I don't believe we have. You must be Mona Magistus, the astrologist. It's an honor to finally meet you. Hi, oh. Charlotte, a reporter from the Steambird. Your columns have been so well received by our readers lately that our management asked me to present you with this cash bonus. She got Mona's full name and title right on her first try. She really does do her homework. Ah, you must be Charlotte. Welcome, welcome. Please, just call me Mona. Gosh, this is a long way to come from Fontaine. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. No trouble at all. It was on the way. Wow, sounds like your articles are a real hit with readers all over to that, Mona. Hmm. Have I never told you? Well, I've been writing my column All Things Astrological for the Steambird for a long time now. The chief editor wrote to me a while ago about the bonus. Thank goodness it's finally here. I was wondering when it would arrive. Thank you, Charlotte. Huh, you make it sound like you really needed this. Are you pressed for money, Mona? What? No, of course not. It's just that once I knew the bonus was coming, I reallocated some funds that I'd previously set aside for daily necessities and purchased some expensive equipment. That's all. <laughs> Classic Mona. Aha! Uh -huh, perfect! Renowned astrologist, broken, starving. Do the stars really have all the answers? <laughs> the article practically writes itself. Actually, yeah, that does sound like an interesting read. Sounds a little exaggerated, I think. No, that's pretty accurate. Oh, I beg your pardon? I... Actually, super rich. It's just that astrology research is really expensive. Super rich is a bit of a stretch. Huh. Anyway, enough about that. What brings you back to Mondstadt this time, Traveler and Paimon? Originally, we just came to catch up with a friend of ours. But some things have come up, and now we're helping Charlotte investigate the case of the card snatcher. Speaking of which, will you be competing in the King of Invocations Grand Prix? Where it is that the prizes are pretty... stellar. I'm much too busy with my research these days to dedicate time to a competition. Besides, even if I did enter, there's no guarantee I'd actually win a prize, is there? Isn't there? I'd have thought you'd be certain to win with astrology on your side. You'd know all of your opponent's cards ahead of time. What do you take me for? No self-respecting astrologist would dream of abusing their beloved art for such crude purposes. Besides, it wouldn't be fair to the other contestants. Well said. Spoken like an accomplished academic and a conscientious citizen. Well, yes, obviously. Anyway, if past precedent is anything to go by, you're the ones who ought to be wary of what's around the corner. Especially if you're chasing after this... Card snatcher, was it? Sounds like bad news. Shall I take a glance at what you're up against? Thanks for the offer, but there's no need. Relying on your astrological skills for all the juicy details would make this story a Mona exclusive. But that's not quite the kind of exclusive report I'm going for here. But don't you worry. They call it investigative journalism for a reason. We journos have our ways. All right, well... Best of luck with your investigation, then. Thanks again for bringing the bonus, Charlotte. Do give my regards to the chief editor. Take care of yourself. Also, we should plan our game with Tisha's genius invocation sometime. I will, and yes, we should. I'll hold you to that. I think it's about time we started heading to the competition venue. The Mondstadt Regional Final should be starting shortly. All right! Paimon can't wait to find out who the finalists are! Mm. All right. Okay. Wow! So this is the venue, huh? Seems pretty lively here!
Well, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon, what a rare surprise. Did you really come all this way just to watch Timmy and me in the final? Maya? You made it to the finals? Wait, what about your work with the Knights of Bavonius? You better not be slacking off again. Hey, come on now. That's no way to talk to a friend. Naturally, I wouldn't have considered entering the competition were I not already on top of my work. Ah, enjoying a drink while playing a few rounds of cards. I can't think of a better way to relax outside of work, can you? Oh, just be sure not to tell Diona I said that. Well, since you're in the competition, have you noticed anything suspicious going on so far? You know, like... People stealing other players' cards and that kind of thing. Stealing cards, you say? I'm afraid I haven't seen anything of that sort. Not while I've been playing, anyway. Why do you ask? Well, we just ran into this journalist from Fontaine and she... Huh? Where'd Charlotte go? She was right here, wasn't she? Oh, I'm a bet she snuck out to go find some tasty snacks for her dad! Journalist from Fontaine. Oh, you mean the one from the Steambird? I do recall seeing a Steambird reporter listed in the Knights of Favonius visitor log. Yeah, that'll be her. She said that she saw a card snatcher at the tournament venue, so we're helping her investigate. A card snatcher? Hmm. How very interesting. But one question, Paimon. Are you sure that cards are really what this snatcher is after? Huh? What makes you say that? Hello, everyone! Your attention, please! The final is about to begin! Now, let's give a warm welcome to our two contestants! Guess we'll have to leave it there. Let's continue this conversation another time. Go that, Kaya. Thanks, Traveler. Go get him, Kaya! We'll see you in a bit! So, Traveler, who do you think is going to win? Pretty sure Timmy will win. But I, th I prefer Kaya yeah, to be Timmy hero. Yeah, seems to be a pretty strong TCG player. Either way, whoever wins is bound to make headlines. Wait, speaking of headlines, isn't that Charlotte's job? Huh, maybe she got caught up trying out all the delicious Mondstadt snacks. Let's go look for her. <laughs> Hmm, there's the fucking interact already there. Uh, hang on, there was that. King of Invocations. Light Novel. Hmm, Light Novel is around the most popular card game in the band, Genius Vacation TCG. The characters are unique, and the story is exciting and full of twists, making one of the hottest new works around. We've been hearing about that for quite some time, but uh, that's too much. I never read really it now. But I'm curious about what this is about. Because I know spoke a lot about it. Charlotte! What happened? You just disappeared without saying anything! Oh, I just didn't want to bother you while you were catching up with your friend. Covering the competition. Eh, I could churn out that kind of soft news piece in five minutes if I had to. Personally, I'm more interested in those two. From the moment things kicked off, they've been acting very strangely, like they're trying to stay out of sight. I'm sure they must be plotting something. Hmm? Oh, you mean there are two card snatchers? Shh, keep your voice down. We don't want to scare them off. We need to wait until we've got something concrete. Then we can use my camera to catch them in the act. Huh? You, wait, where'd the other guy go? He's on the run! After him! Where? Huh? Oh. You seem like you've done this before. Do you spy on people often? <laughs> oh, you're too kind. 
You should see the celebrities in Fontaine, the lengths they'll go to to try and avoid the public eye. Compared to that, this is nothing. That wasn't supposed to be a compliment. He's heading toward Mondstadt's side gate. Let's follow him, but quietly. We mustn't let him spot us. She's... Yeah, aren't those supposed to be sneak sections? Uh, not that I care for them here. But... Yeah, maybe I should have checked the Time to go. table before going to talk to Charlotte. Oh, there! Looks like he stopped. Let's sit tight and see what happens. Why'd he come all the way out here? Is he gonna hide something? And now he's crouching down with his hands above his head. <gasps> Wait! Treasure orders! He's in trouble! Quick! We need to rescue him! Help! Did someone save me? What are the treasure hoarders doing so close to the city? Clouds high. The birds come. Let's keep going, team. Final one. Two legs for a crack. Wind strike. Dare to mess with me. The wrong test subject. Are you all right? Oh, oh, thank goodness. I thought it was all over for me. Those treasure hoarders, did you know them? It sure looked like they were here just for you. Why would I know them? Uh, I was just, uh, out for a walk, minding my own business, and then the next thing I knew, I was surrounded. Oh, really? Then why did they target you? It wouldn't be because of some dubious deal you were involved in at the tournament, would it? Huh? A deal? I, uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that's a shame. You see, I'm a journalist, and I just happened to snap a picture of you and one other individual in the middle of a deal back at the tournament. I was only going to ask you for an interview, but that was before you caused all this trouble. And now you're feigning ignorance of the deal in question. Hmm, maybe I'm just wasting my time. Shall I just cut my losses and hand over the evidence to the Knights of Favonius? Whoa, 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 whoa! No, no, please! I, I'll, I'll, I'll talk! But you gotta believe me, there's nothing shady going on, I swear! Wow, that was some serious bluffing on Charlotte's part. She didn't take any pictures at all! Back at the tournament, I, I was approached by some random guy who said that he wanted to buy a card back off me. I said, okay, how much are you offering? And when he told me the amount, well, my jaw practically hit the floor. Really? What kind of card back was it? Uh, nothing special. I just picked it up at the general goods store. Uh, it, it had a treasure chest design on it. I only bought it because it was dirt cheap. This guy offered me three times what I paid for it and handed me the mora right then and there. I could... Hardly believe my luck, so I, uh, I decided to head somewhere less crowded and check the Mora was real. That's when I ran into the treasure hoarders. Did you ask him why he wanted to purchase this item from you? No, I didn't. Genius Invocation TCG has been getting pretty popular lately, and some people will pay good Mora to make their decks look flashy. It didn't strike me as that unusual. But after I gave him the card back, he let out a sigh of relief and said something about, uh, that's all the Mondstadt ones. Next stop, Liyue. Or something like that. Or something like that? 
He either said that or he didn't. How certain are you? I'm positive. I, I know what I heard. Once the card was in his hands, he suddenly relaxed like a huge burden had been taken off his shoulders. It was genuine relief. Could, could that card back really be as valuable as he thought? That I don't know, but in the interests of your personal safety, I suggest you report all of this to the Knights of Favonius. After all, you weren't doing anything against the law, were you? Uh, right, yeah, no, that makes sense. I'll go speak to the Knights of Favonius right away. It sounds like that guy's just collecting rare card bags. Are you sure this is the person you're after, Charlotte? Well, it definitely doesn't add up. You really think someone out there is going from nation to nation, shelling out huge sums of money for a few card bags bought from a grocery store? My gut tells me that there's more to this story than the card back alone. <laughs> this entire situation reeks of exclusive news! Uh, do you think there's real treasure gold? Maybe it was designed by famous artists. Oh, you mean someone like Albedo? Hmm. That would explain why only some people understand the true value. Who knows? But wherever this leads, we're definitely on to something. Even though I didn't manage to get a good look at his face, his physique and the way he moved were identical to the card snatcher I saw last time. I'm sure it's the same guy. He was much more discreet this time, though. I guess he didn't want to risk trying anything with so many potential witnesses around. From the sounds of it, we need to head to Liyue next, right? Paimon can't wait! We have tons of friends in Liyue, too! But shouldn't we check in with Kaya before we leave? Paimon at least wants to find out who won the final. Good idea! Let's go! I hereby declare the winner of the Mondstadt Regional Final of the King of Invocations Grand Prix is... Timmy! Wow! Timmy won! That's amazing! <sighs> I was beaten by the best. Timmy's a tough opponent. He had me on the back foot the entire time. It was always the next time. At least you are gracious in defeat. <laughs> it's all right. You don't need to comfort me. This must be the journalist from Fontaine you mentioned earlier. Charlotte, was it? Enchanté. I'm Kaya, cavalry captain of the Knights of Favonius. I trust you're enjoying your time in Mondstadt? The pleasure is all mine. Mondstadt's reputation as the city of song and freedom is truly deserved. The mood here is simply delightful. <laughs> I'm glad you're liking it. Oh, by the way, I couldn't help but notice you all rushing towards the city's side gate earlier. Did you find something? I couldn't get it off my mind, even during the competition. You tell Kaya everything that happened? Hmm, I see. So, it seems we have an answer to Kaya's question from earlier. What the card snatcher's really after is these card backs. But we still haven't figured out why he cares so much about them. Hmm. Well, while I'd love to accompany you all to Liyue Harbor, I'm afraid I still have my Knights of Favonius duties to attend to. In fact, our top priority right now is strengthening Mondstadt's defenses. Treasure hoarder activity has been increasingly rampant lately. Don't worry, we'll keep you in the loop if we find anything. In fact, if Charlotte's journalistic instinct is on point, you'll probably be reading her exclusive report in the Steambird before long. Wonderful. Then I look forward to reading all about it. <laughs> Thanks for supporting quality journalism. Okay, let's take tonight off and head to Liyue Harbor tomorrow. It'll give me a chance to write down everything that's happened today. Oh, Paimon wanted to ask. See the two 
few people on this poster. Are they the inventors of Genius Invocation TCG? They look so young. Maybe, but very little is known about either of them. Whether they've been living under a rock this whole time or just aren't interested in fame, I don't know. But hardly anybody has ever seen them. The poster's probably just an artist's impression to capture the general look and feel of the duo. Beyond that, I doubt it's very true to life. Sounds like they're a couple of socially reclusive scholars. If Paimon were in their shoes, she'd be showing up to all the events, signing autographs, selling cards, and probably getting complimentary food and drink. <laughs> I approve. And to top it off, you could play a few rounds of Genius Invocation with everyone. I was reading up on the game's inventors before I came to Mondstadt. I was originally hoping to arrange an interview with them. But I soon discovered that there's no mention anywhere of where they live or of any Genius Invocation events that they've attended. It's as if they've designed the game and then never played it again. But a Mr. Scuttle of game designers. Either they don't want to play the game, or they're unable to. But they must have their reasons. I wonder if they'll show up at all during the King of Invocation's Grand Prix. Maybe, if you get lucky. And based on my experience, the Traveler seems to have no shortage of that. Oh, really? Well, that gives me one less thing to worry about. Hearing that puts, put you at ease, puts me at ease. Hopefully my luck won't turn or run out anytime soon. Anyway, our focus is still on tracking down the card snatcher. I heard Snezhnaya has an old saying. If you try chasing two rabbits at once, you'll only end up empty-handed. Well, the Traveler and Paimon can always split up and chase one rabbit each. Oh, okay, now Paimon's feeling hungry. We can worry about all this later. Right now it's time to get some grub. <laughs> you can always trust Paimon to know where life's priorities lie. If it's food you're after, I recommend taking a look at the nearby stalls. The tournament has brought quite a crowd, so there's a lot of fun to be had around the venue. Okay. Um, let's go to the main quest and I'll check the challenges. If I can. Hmm. Wonders. Oh, hang on. Uh. Only up from all stats, I'm sure have something to tell you. Ah, oh, free this, let's tell you. Felix, ah, uh, the yolk. Mm. Mm, fine. Um, but do we have more? Okay, come on again. saves face for the knights, but lacks a little oomph. Top strategic mind of the knights of Favonius outsmarted by Bridge Boy in five round failure. Captain's championship hopes crushed in dazzling Dark Horse defeat? <sighs> Maybe I should stick with my first draft. Where 
merchant's flock and all ships dock. Now I understand what that saying was trying to describe. Still, nothing beats seeing it with your own eyes. Welcome to Li Yue Harbor. I hope you had a smooth journey. Lady Ningguang instructed me to wait for you here. It's by when. I assist Lady Ningguang with collecting and organizing intelligence. That's right, by when. Paima remembers now. The other two are Bai Shu and Bai Xiao. Lady Ningguang? You mean Tian Xuan of the Liyue Qixing? Yep, that's her. But why does Ningguang want to see us? Wait, and how does she even know that we'd be arriving in Liyue Harbor today? Lady Ningguang likes to stay informed. Nothing slips through her intelligence network. She wishes to invite our visitor from Fontaine, Mademoiselle Charlotte, to join her at Eugene Terrace to discuss cooperation. Hmm. What would she want with me? This is the first time I've ever been to Liyue Harbor. Lady Ningguang has known of you for quite some time. A talented and capable journalist with the Steambird who writes insightful, engaging, and, most importantly, factual prose. She rather admires your work. She also understands that in revealing the truth, your exclusive news, you have offended some interested parties that have been pulling strings behind the scenes. And that is why you have been sent on an international reporting trip to cover the Genius Invocation TCG events. Wait, what? That's terrible! Oh, poor Charlotte. No, no, it's just part of the job. I'm already used to it. But I'm surprised to learn that Lady Ningguang knows so much about my situation. Does she know my boss or something? Ha! <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She seems to know everyone and everything. Lady Ningguang also welcomes the two of you to join, if you're interested. Oh, you didn't tell me you were best buddies with Lady Ningguang. Oh, Paima wouldn't go that far. We've just been invited to the Jade Chamber as honored guests a couple times. You know. And that's a day of humble for a time. Uh, but anyway, if Ningwa wants to discuss work stuff with Charlotte, it's probably going to be best if we stay out of the way, right? Maybe we can go ask around about the card snatcher while you have your meeting with Ningguang. Oh, are you sure? Absolutely not from at all. While we're at it, we can check out our old house. Alright, thanks. Then I'll leave you to it. Let's catch up and swap notes later. I'm actually pretty excited to meet Lady Ningguang, so I don't want to keep her waiting. That's how the invitation Very well. was for Please, me, too. Please, Mademoiselle Charlotte, follow me. See you two later. Sounds like Charlotte's a top-notch journalist, huh? Paimon's not sure what that exclusive news is all about, but it definitely sounds like a big deal. And if she manages to write up an article about this card snatcher case, we'll be featured in her exclusive news too! <gasps> it feels like we're about to become famous! We are already famous. Let's just focus on this thing. Yep, you're right. Okay, why don't we start asking around at the docks? There's always a lot of people coming and going. Maybe someone's seen people trading cards there. Yeah. Follow the wind. Time to go. Hmm. Hi there. Can we ask you a question? Sure. Go ahead. I'll uh, 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 answer as best I can. Have you noticed anyone here collecting card backs for Genius Invocation TCG recently? Card backs? Uh, no, I'm afraid not. Sorry, just before <coughs> a girl in 
Inazuma attire walk by and I've been sneezing non-stop since. Oh. Well, take care of yourself and get well soon. We'll keep asking around. So he's we'll be all right. Show. While You'll the Millilith stands too. guard, evil shall never <laughs> prevail. Hmm? Oh, sure. Ask away. The ship's already set sail anyway, so I've got all the time in the world. Have you seen anyone around here recently collecting card backs? You know, for that really popular game, Genius Invocation TCG? Collecting card backs? Hmm. I've definitely seen people around here playing the game, but I'm usually preoccupied with thinking about the sea. I've never paid too much attention to it. Oh, I really can't afford to wake up late next time. Hey there, got a question for you. Ah, uh, hello, ask away. If it's fish you want, I've got all the answers. Uh, actually, it's not about fish. We were just wondering, since you're here all day running your stall, have you seen anyone collecting card backs for Genius Invocation TCG? Genius Invocation TCG? Hmm. Afraid I don't know anything about that. People come here for black back bass, but not card backs. Really? Sorry to bother you then. We'll try our luck somewhere else. Uh, don't you want to buy some fish to take with you? All my fish are super fresh, you know. to a slow start. Let's try somewhere else. Hey, you two. Looking mm. for someone? Huh? Paimon knows that voice. It's Kazuma! Nice to see you again, Traveler and Paimon. Uh, it's been too long. Captain Beto needed to return to Liyue to take care of some business, so I've been taking the chance to get to walk around town. It's a nice surprise to run into you two here. Looks like you have questions. May I be of any help? Well, long story short... Mm, tells us what all that's I happening see. recently. Well, the harbor breeze is as peaceful and pleasant as ever. I don't believe that the card snatcher you're looking for has been through here. I'm not sure if that's good news or bad in your eyes. Oh, by the way, it seems there's a competition being held nearby. I stopped to have a look. This genius invocation TCG. It seems to be immensely popular at the moment. Wait, have you never played it before, Kazuha? No, I haven't. I have quietly observed from the side. The captain brought a small box aboard recently that contained a variety of beautifully illustrated cards. She enjoys playing with the crew while enjoying a few drinks. A few too many, perhaps. That's called a casket of tomes! It's what you use to carry your cards in, and it helps you find players nearby, too! You should give it a try, Kazuha. The rules are pretty easy to pick up, and then you'll have a fun game to play with your friends! This is the perfect chance to learn. Hmm... Forging friendship through card-based combat does sound quite delightful. All right, then. Show me the ropes, if you please. Paimon can teach you. Paimon's watched the Traveler play a ton of times, so even Paimon's a master invocator now. After we teach you the rules, we'll also have to get you a casket of tomes. But what about this card snatcher you're looking for? Is not dealing with that more urgent at present? Good point. <laughs> Paimon got so caught up chatting with our old friend that she nearly forgot about our promise to our new friend. Hmm. Now where should we go next? Huh? Hey, look over there! Isn't that the Inazuman courier who Diona was chatting with back in Mondstadt? What's she doing here? Huh. I just noticed the logo at her waist. Isn't that Komania Express? 
Huh? Do you know that company, Kazuma? Yes, I've heard of it. They provide delivery services in Inazuma. Hmm. Looks like she's having some trouble. Why don't we go and introduce ourselves? you. Weren't you at the Cat's Tale in Mondstadt? Yep. Paimon's name is Paimon, and these two are the Traveler and Kaidahara Kazuha. It's a strange coincidence running into you again. Hello. Hello. My name's Kirara. I'm a courier for Inazuma's Komania Express. I know Komania Express is widely praised for its punctual and safe delivery services, but I wasn't aware that the company had started operating internationally. Wow, it's rare to meet a fellow Inazuman abroad. Our company just recently began expanding its services overseas. Which is great for me, because now I basically get paid to travel all around the world! Only downside is, I sometimes get a bit lost when it's my first time in a new city. Sometimes, when I'm running late, I even have to change back into my original form and climb over walls to make sure the parcel's on time. Uh, do you happen to know the way to the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? I... Feel like I've been going in circles all day. Yeah, we know the place. We'll show you the way. You will? Oh, thank you so much. Time to go. Time to go. Down on the ground, the dice spin around, while high in the sky, the sun shines bright. Hmm. That last line could use some work. White's the Traveler and Paimon. What brings you here? And I see you've brought some friends, clients, business partners, new associates. Uh -oh. Maybe leave the introductions to Paimon. This is Kaidahara Kazuha, and this is Kirara. Hello. It is an honor to meet you. Greetings, old friends and new. So... What brings you all to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor this fine day? Wait, don't tell me. Is it our latest promotion? Well, I'm touched that you journeyed all this way. No, no. We were just giving Kirara directions. Hello, ma'am. Are you Director Huta of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? I'm your Komania Express courier, and we have a delivery for you. I just need to ask you for a signature. Let me see. Ah, oh, yes, I've been expecting this. Delivery services these days make everything so much easier. I used to have to send my consultant running to and fro for this kind of thing. Say, Kirara, how flexible is your company in terms of delivering different types of goods? How about a living person? And what about someone who's more in between alive and dead? <laughs> uh huh? Uh... Her tails are standing up on end! Guess that's a no. Well, maybe we can talk about potentially expanding your company's services sometime. C could I trouble you to take a moment and leave a five-star review? Five stars? Well, that's an odd number. Let's make it an even six. No, much too low. Service this good deserves at least eight. In fact, nine. One extra for going the extra mile. Oh, five stars will be plenty, really. But your enthusiasm means a lot. 
All right. I should be on my way now. Thanks again for the directions. Uh, you're welcome. Do you handle all the deliveries? No. Uh, not necessarily. Business has been picking up lately, so the company has hired lots of new staff. But I handle all the international deliveries because I'm the quickest. I am a yokai after all. So chances are that we'll see you on the road again soon. Cool. Well, I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Although, uh, hopefully next time it won't be because I'm lost. I heard you reciting a poem just now, Director Who. May I ask from where you drew your inspiration? Oh, do you share a liking for poetry as well? Once in a while, I throw words at each other and see what sticks. Ah, yeah. There's no need for self-deprecation. I've seen people from all walks of life. And I can tell just from the way your sleeves flutter in the wind that you are a man of culture. Anyway, I'm preparing for the tournament final that will be held shortly. Anyone feeling poetic? I need ideas. Tournament final? Ooh, you mean the Genius Invocation TCG Tournament? Yeah, that's the one. My next opponent is no small fry. Most of the time, he's so unassuming you couldn't pick him out of a crowd. But during this tournament, it's like he sprang up out of the ground like a whopper flower and took the competition completely by surprise. So I have a strong feeling that this will be a tough battle to win. Then shouldn't you be focusing on your strategy? How is writing poetry gonna help? Because skill doesn't thrill, unless you've also got style. What? Let me give you an example you'd be more familiar with. To make a great dish, it takes not just flavor, but presentation, too. Ever heard the saying it takes two flint to light a fire? The same principle applies when you're trying to make an impression. Hmm. That sounds like it makes sense. Or does it? Oh, Paimon can never tell with who tell. Hmm. In duels to the death, some samurai pay each other respects before the fight. Often, the two opponents find they have much in common. See? New guy gets it. What did I say? A man of culture. You flatter me, Director Who. In my humble opinion, you could try incorporating your competitive aspirations into your lines. Or perhaps some words to intimidate your opponent. Oh, we have an expert among us. Hey, why don't you play a match with me? It'll help me warm up and maybe find some creative inspiration. As much as I'd like to oblige, I'm afraid that I haven't played before. I don't even have my own deck. You can use my deck. Perfect! Paimon really wants to watch you play. How about Paimon gives Kazuha a crash course right now? Since everyone is so willing to offer their help, how can I refuse? Paimon explains the rules of Kishi Invocation to Kazuha. So there you have it! Those are the rules! Paimon also included a few little tips and tricks she's picked up from watching the Traveler play. Well, think you can handle it from here, Kazuha? I think I've got it. Thank you, Paimon Sensei. S sensei <laughs> Wow! Paimon's never been called that before! Well, Kazuha? Ready to go one-on-one -on -one against Liyue's most notorious backstreet poet? Yes. Thank you for the opportunity, Director Who. Any last words before the duel begins? <sighs> One moment. Okay. I think I've got something. Wow, that was fast. Alright. <laughs> Say your piece, Challenger. Whoa, things are really heating up. Shh. <sighs> Minds like sharp blades clash. Friendship forged through cards and dice. Autumn leaves burn bright. I, Kaedahara Kazuha, humbly accept this duel. Are chirping, the weather's so nice. 
Watch me roll six pyro dice. Director Hu of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is ready for battle. A bit of journey, change of chainer here. My turn, Chi. What time because of the trading match of Chi's vocation? Ah, I am defeated. It's no wonder that Director Who has earned a spot in the tournament finals. It's just a first about fight. An exciting match, though. Good thing I was able to send off all those summons of yours. I have to say, it's hard to believe that this was your first time playing. I owe it all to Paimon Sensei's teaching. Huh? You really mean that? Yay! <laughs> I agree. Paimon Sensei is the best teacher. How's that in Japanese? Just Sensei is the best Sensei. Look, Paimon Sensei's eagle so inflated. She's floating. Hey! Did you enjoy Genius and Vacation TCG? Yes, indeed. There is a good variety of card abilities, and the tempo of the match can swing in an instant. I understand now why it's become so popular across Tevat. Oh, seems the world's gained yet another TCG player. ka -ching! When did you get here? Shortly after these two had begun their match, everyone seemed so focused on the game that I didn't want to interrupt. You must be Kaidehara Kazuha. Your reputation precedes you. It's an honor to finally meet you. Please, the honor is all mine. I have heard great things about the esteemed Yuhang from Captain Beto. Just call me Kuching. You played very well indeed, considering it was your first time. I'm impressed. If we ever have the opportunity, I too would like to play a match with you. Wow! Kazuha's already lined up his next opponent! Why so surprised? Practically everyone at Yujing Terrace is playing Genius Invocation TCG these days. I also play from time to time, when time permits. It would be my pleasure to join you for a match. However, I can't borrow the Traveler's deck forever. Our match might have to wait until after I manage to obtain my own casket of tomes. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem. When we get back to the tournament venue, I'll ask a member of the Genius Invocation TCG Society to provide one for you. And please don't think about returning the favor. I assure you, it's no inconvenience. Besides, a friend of the Traveler is a friend of us all. Thanks, Kichin. And so begins Kazuha's TCG journey. I am grateful for your kindness, Kuching. Pleasure. Also, Hu Tao, the final is about to start. I just came to make sure you're aware. Don't worry, it might look like my mind's on other things, but I'm still listening. Thorough preparation is the key to victory, after all. Will you all be coming with us to the venue? Actually, there's something we wanted to discuss first. All right, back to the task at hand. Um, we're investigating a card snatcher. Have any of you seen someone going around collecting genius invocation card backs recently? Card backs? You mean like the kind with the treasure chest design on it? Yes, exactly! That's the one! Funny, the word Snatcher didn't come to mind when I saw him. He struck me as more of a potential client. Everybody's a potential client. I saw him playing a match against Chong Yun this morning. He said that whoever lost would have to hand over their card back. It was close, but he managed to beat Chong Yun in the end. After the match, he wiped the sweat from his forehead, took the card back from Chong Yun, and left. Sounds like we need to go talk to Chong Yun then. In that case, try Uong Hill. I think that's where he should be. If I may ask, what else is this alleged card snatcher suspected of doing? Um, we don't know too much about him, apart from his obsession with card backs, but apparently he's stolen other players' cards before. I see. I'll inform the Millilith to be on the lookout for this individual. But while he's still at large, make sure you stay safe. I think I'll go with the Traveler to Uwong Hill. Alright, see you later. Good luck in finding your actor. With so many people rooting for me, I'm sure the match will be over before I can say, Phew! 
The who's her opponent? All right, let's go find Chang Yun. Time to go. Hey, don't panic. I'm sure we'll find her. Chanyun, we found you. Paimon, traveler. And. Hello, I am Kaidahara Kazuha. Hi, I'm Chong Yun, an exorcist from Liyue. Long story short, this boy lost his friend while they were playing hide and seek. <laughs> oh, I told little Yun not to hide anywhere too far away, but I've looked everywhere, and I still can't find her. Uh-oh, it could be dangerous to get lost out here in the wilderness. Um, we'll help look for her too. Did you see which direction she went? Yeah, I kind of peeked a little bit when I was counting. She went that way. Okay, then let's start looking in that direction. Aren't they too far from here up north? Down there. Oh, is there just. Oh, that's where I started. Time to go. Starters. Oh, come on. Little you? Little you? Where are you? Hmm. A snap. Oh. oh not the treasure orders again. Let's oh, hope little you didn't run into them. Cut you. Everyone, have a look at this. Are those genius invocation cards? Oh, I know that one. It belongs to little you. Her dad gave her a deck, and it's her favorite thing. She takes it with her everywhere. So little you is definitely here. But there's a fork in the road up ahead. Oh, which way should we go? Hmm, wait a moment. Did Little Yu's father also give her a small box to store the cards? Yeah, a casket of tomes. I have one too. Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Right, you can look in your best players. Yes. As long as she still has the box with her, we should be able to determine her location. Quick, get a casket of tomes out! Let's see. There's Chang Yun and Little Fang. Aha! There's another player over there. That must be Little Yu. Time to go. Scared. 
So I ran and ran till I ended up here. <laughs> Don't worry. We've already taken care of the bad guys. But Uwang Hill is full of yin energy. You shouldn't be playing in a place like this. Understand? Uh, yes, sir. We won't do it again. Thanks, everyone. Thank you for rescuing me. Of course. Now, don't go running off. Hang tight for a moment, and I'll walk you both home. <sighs> Paimon's glad she was okay. Me too. Good on Kazuha for coming up with the Casket of Tomes idea. Yeah, how did the rest of us not think of that? Huh. Guess we use it so often when we're playing cards that it didn't occur to us to use it for anything else. What a nifty little gadget. The Sumeru scholars who invented it must be super brainy. Oh, uh, by the way, Changyun, we wanted to ask you about something. Simon Scar's Scar's natural situation. Oh, I, I knew there was something fishy about his obsession with card backs. I can't believe it. I let a thief slip right through my fingers. Whoa. Deep breaths. Stay calm. It's not your fault. You didn't know what his intentions were. If I'd been in your shoes and he invited me to a duel on the same terms, I doubt I'd have sensed anything untoward either. Exactly. He's crafty. If you're not paying attention, he'll just steal the card he wants. And if that doesn't work, he'll come up with some other way to get his hands on it. Did he happen to say anything after he got the card back? Not a lot. He seemed to be in a hurry. He just packed up his things and then left for the docks. Hmm, but I did hear him grumbling about how far away Inazuma is, and how he wasn't looking forward to the boat journey. This guy sure talks to himself a lot. Hmm. Well, it sounds like a pretty solid lead, so Paimon thinks we should follow it. But first, we should stop by the venue. Then I guess I'll take Little Fong and Little Yu home now. Though I'd really rather help track down that thief. No worry, need to get cards nature shows. You okay? Friend not let it get you. Yeah, you're right. When I get back, I should probably meditate for a while to calm myself down. Hmm. Thanks for your concern. Whoa. Is it just Paimon, or did things suddenly get gloomier here after Changyun left? Huh. Come on, let's get out of here. Time to go. Oh, there's more stuff here. What an incredible match. Truly mesmerizing to watch two players compete at such a high level. Who was the one? What? We missed the final again? Oh, Paimon was hoping we'd at least get to catch a glimpse of the final round. Ah, you're back. Did you find Chongyun? Everything goes smoothly? There were a few hiccups along the way, but in the end, it all turned out fine. Um, so Hu Tao, did you win your match? Of course. It didn't go quite as phew as I'd expected, but all in all, it was still a good old wham bam I'd like to thank my fam. My opponent was no pushover. We both took out a couple of each other's character cards before it came down to the decisive round. I closed my eyes held my breath, and clenched the dice tightly in my hand as I prayed for the blessings of all my supporters in the audience, both visible and invisible, wink wink. Can you guess what happened next? What happened? Channeling all my skill and style, with a flick of the wrist I released the dice from my hands and shouted my battle cry at the top of my lungs. Watch me roll six pyro dice! And lo and behold, when the dice came to rest, I counted precisely six of the Pyro Persuasion. It was all over before I could say, Pyre Pyre, pants on fire. 
Amazing. Wow! Sounds like your poem worked like a charm! Director Who's playstyle is rapid but graceful, like a lone butterfly navigating the depths of a forest. With a little luck beneath her wings, she soared above the competition. Ugh, oh, luck is a key ingredient in every success. Wouldn't you agree, Traveler? Oh, it's Ningguang and Charlotte! Finished with your business meeting? Yep. I have to say, the Tian Shuin has a very incisive mind. She's extremely insightful. I gotta admit, I'm kinda envious of Baiwen now. Oh, wow. You must be Kaidahara Kazuha. It's a pleasure to meet you, Charlotte. First the Traveler, now Kazuha. Feels like I've been inducted into the Tevat Heroes Club. I remember when you made the headlines of the Steambird. Young Samurai blocks the Muso no Hitotachi. You captured the public imagination in Fontaine for some time. My oh my. I had no idea I was up against such a legendary warrior in our card duel earlier. That's all in the past now. I count myself as the fortunate one today for this chance to make so many new friends. Today is indeed a momentous day to have brought us all together. I propose that I treat everyone to a meal to mark the occasion, if it pleases you all. Oh? <laughs> Sounds like it's victory meal time! Count me in! You'll have to excuse me for a moment while I wrap things up at the tournament venue. I'll join you all later. See you later. This is great! We can have a nice hearty meal and get a good sleep tonight before heading off to Inazuma tomorrow. Inazuma? Does this mean you found a new lead on the card snatcher? Sure did! Investigating is what we do best! Well, okay, I guess luck played a part in it too. I still have some things to take care of here in Liyue, so I'm afraid I won't be able to accompany you to Inazuma. Okay, but remember to keep working on your genius invocation skills! You never know when Paimon Sensei will show up for a surprise inspection! You're getting pretty strict, Paimon Sensei. You really care for students. I've also heard some things about this card snatcher you're pursuing. Already? Well, nothing gets past Ningguang, huh? A new card back appeared on the market recently. It's extremely rare and bears an image of a treasure chest. Some players are willing to pay exorbitant amounts of more for things of this nature, as they believe they can improve their luck. So I looked into them briefly to see whether there was any genuine commercial value in them. I quickly learned that every card back with that particular design had been scooped up overnight. There's not a single one left in all of Liyue. Initially, I thought this might be just another case of a merchant hoarding goods in hopes of maximizing their profits. But once I heard more, I realized it must be the thief you are after. Is there anything else unusual about these card backs other than their rarity? Unfortunately, since I didn't manage to procure one for myself, I'm unable to say for sure. All I know is that despite being custom made, they are not particularly exquisite. If they were, you can be sure I would have purchased one sooner. Hmm, the mystery of this card snatcher gets more baffling at every turn! Doesn't matter. Given how much he likes to talk to himself, he's sure to spill all his secrets sooner or later. Every journey into the unknown is a mystery waiting to be solved. But often, it is encounters with the unexpected that make the journey all the more interesting. For instance, it was certainly a pleasant surprise for me today to meet top talents from all around Tevat. Okay. Hmm, should I have spoken to... to... uh... uh yeah, in... their body there. Oh, I spoke to her. Hi there, my name's Charlotte. I'm a reporter for the Steambird. Could I borrow a moment of your time for a brief interview? Huh, <sighs> sure. Go ahead. You made a promising start in this competition, leaving many contenders in the dust on your way to the finals, before narrowly missing out on a championship win when you lost to Director Hu Tao of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Ah, it must be difficult for you knowing how close you came to victory. With this in mind, would you like to share your thoughts on how the final match played out? Uh... 
Sorry, do you want an answer for the media, or do you want my actual thoughts? I'd like to hear your actual thoughts, of course. <sighs> well, I've always said that playing cards is 70% skill and 30% luck. But when your opponent rolls six dice of the same element at once, there's no coming back from that. Not even with Adeptus level skills. So there was no hope for a mere adventurer like me. I've heard that even the unofficial Genius Invocation Tournament is enjoying a huge turnout. Many serious TCG players have registered for both the official and unofficial ones. As for me, I don't mind trying my hand at the trending games from time to time, though I still prefer chess. But when it comes down to it, whatever differences there may be between the various games around, they all share one important thing in common. They bring friends together. By the way, does Captain Beto play Genius Invocation TCG by any chance? Yes. In fact, she's one of the best in the whole Crux fleet. Would you mind putting in a word for me, Kazuha? I'm a longtime fan of Captain Beto's. I always hoped I'd be friends with her someday, but so far I've never had the chance. Sure. But please be gentle when you inevitably defeat her in Genius Invocation. Oh. Oh. It's the same one. I thought maybe it would be the second part. Well, are we to set off to next day? Yeah. But let's take a quick trip to Mostad first, see if people are still there. Last night was so much fun! Paimon had a great time chatting with everyone! Hopefully we'll find someone in Inazuma to treat us to a meal too! Chatting? From what I saw, you were eating the entire time, Paimon! Hey! Not the entire time! Okay, if people are still there, then people here are probably still here still. Just talk to people around, like Timmy and Kaya. Oh, uh, they're not here anymore. Damn it. Inventors of this game every time we see the posters. You're not the only one. There's so little information to go off of that there's all sorts of wild speculations about them. Some people say that they invented the game after the God of Wisdom gave them an epiphany, while others say that they're not actually the inventors at all. By the way, have you two ever read a book called King of Invocations? Uh, I've only heard of it. Well, it's a story about a young boy who gets possessed by the spirit of the Crocodile King and becomes a TCG player. It's quite fascinating. I made sure to read it before coming on this trip. Some people have even speculated that the author of the King of Invocations is the boy who was possessed, while the true inventors of the game are the Crocodile King and Ibis King from the Legends. Each of these theories gets more ridiculous than the last. Exactly! Which is why the original author came forward to deny these rumors. But that only fueled the debate further, and the book's sales skyrocketed. 
It can't be denied that the King of Invocation's novels are a major part of why Genius Invocation TCG has become so popular. Just look at the venue. They're almost treating this like a national festival. I bet the book is going to sell more copies after this. <laughs> you can be sure that the Fox Lady is behind all this. Fox Lady? Yeah, Yai Miko. She's chief editor of the Yai Publishing House. Paimon can just imagine her eating some fried tofu as she instructs her editors to use this event to boost light novel sales. Oh, yes, I've been in that situation many times myself. Although in our case, the boss would be drinking coffee and talking about newspaper sales. Sounds like bosses are the same everywhere. Time to go. <laughs> the scenery in every nation is so different. This trip is really paying dividends. Good thing that you're able to be so optimistic about it. It sounded like you were pretty much forced to come on this trip whether you wanted to or not. Uh, huh? Wait, is that hmm. who Paimon thinks it is? We didn't <gasps> meet with it's the other Arcos. I miss Shonley. Traveler, Paimon, we meet again. Oh, who is this? Cheers. Ah, allow Paimon to introduce you. Huh. Seems like that's all Paimon's been doing these past few days. Anyway, this is Charlotte. She's a journalist from Fontaine. And this is A. She's, uh... She's Inazuma's Archon. What? You, you mean Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder? Uh, hello. Please forgive me for not recognizing you. I... <laughs> As a guest from afar, there's no need to be so formal. Right, uh, I mean, okay. Oh, each of your acquaintances is more impressive than the last. Miko invited me here to experience the fun and festivities, along with everybody else. Oh, Paimon gets it. The tournament venue is full of excitement and tasty food, and Miko didn't want you to miss out. I guess I'll let you catch up for now. We can meet up later, just like last time. Sure thing. See you, Charlotte. Perhaps she felt a little intimidated by me. Ah, uh, she's probably fine. Don't worry, she didn't leave because of you. We split up like this in previous places we visited, too. So, how do you like Genius Invocation TCG? Paimon bets you're enjoying watching the tournament matches. Well, in fact... I, myself, am competing in the tournament. Wait, really? Why is that surprising? Playing cards is an ancient form of entertainment, and I was curious to see what card games are like in this day and age. How's the tournament mean? I advanced all the way to the semifinals. The semifinals? That's amazing! So when's your next match? Unfortunately, the semifinals is where my journey ended. The reason being... The reason being that she lost to me. Mm. And when I say lost, that doesn't begin to do it justice. It was quite a humiliating defeat. Yeah, would it be more if there was some common person that beat her? Uh, how fortunate. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I only lost because I was duped by her little tricks. What's wrong with my little tricks? Trickery within the scope of the rules is better known as ingenuity. It's not my fault that some people spend all their time cooped up in Tenshukaku and never have the chance to hone their skills. What a unique friendship. Huh. You're right, though. I should make an effort to get out more. 
Many things have changed now that Inazuma is at peace. However, it seems that some people continue to fear the Divine Light, just as before. In some of my tournament matches, I could see my opponent's hands shaking, hesitant to play their cards. Now that I think about it, perhaps they were scared of what would happen if they defeated me. Uh, can blame them. Oh, dear, dear. Other players lose their games and throw a tantrum. You win yours, and yet you still find a reason to mope about it. I invited you out for some simple fun and games. Oh, I should have known you'd be like this. Anyway, you should watch and learn, because I plan on using some more of my little tricks to defeat that divine priestess from Watatsumi mm -hmm. Island. <laughs> oh, so Kokomi's your opponent in the finals? Mm-hmm. On one side will be your erstwhile comrade-in-arms, the leader of Watatsumi Island, and on the other will be head shrine maiden Yai Miko, the wise and beautiful. So, little one, who will you support? I don't care much for Kokomi, but it's better to go against you. <laughs> the nerve! Saying that in the presence of me and A? Are you trying to find out whose lightning strikes faster? Miko, come on. No need to put them on the spot like that. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to see how they'd react. The venue is right over there. Why not go and take a walk around? Oh, and if you meet my fellow finalist, do pass on my regards. Miko, the people of Inazuma are afraid of me. And for good reason, no? A bolt of lightning from you would make even my fur stand on end. You know I would never do such a thing. Nor would I eat anyone. Yet a writer of mine seems convinced that I'd turn into an evil kitsune and eat him alive if he doesn't submit his drafts on time. Honestly, where do people get these ideas? Hmm, although to be fair, after I learned that he was afraid of me, I did start acting like I might actually eat him. Needless to say, his punctuality is now improving with each draft. Hmm. Hmm. Time to go. Can I find a Charlotte wait? Time to go. Oh, that's the was up here. Ah, oh, she's here. Hey, compadre! And flying lavender melon. Oh, bull checker! Don't call crime on that in public! It's been too long. Did you still compete in the tournament? <laughs> What would this tournament be without Arataki, the ultimate TCG champion, Ito? Pretty Matter lost. of fact, the whole Arataki gang showed up in force. Our goal? To bring home the grand prize? <sighs> As fate would have it, Boss was the only one who didn't make it out of the qualifiers. What? Hey! That's not the point! It was just some bad luck, that's all. I got matched against a strong opponent in the first round. Besides, it was a close match. It could have swung either way! I wouldn't exactly call losing in three rounds a close match. Hey, Shinobu, cut me some slack in front of my friends, okay? Anyway, it's not like you did much better. Weren't you beaten by that fish lady? Uh, Sandy Mama Mia, <laughs> whatever her name was. <sighs> Sangonomiya Kokomi? Watatsumi Island's military strategist? Yes, she beat me fair and square. I don't have a problem with that. <sighs> Well, anyway, I've noticed something in this competition. If you want to win big here, you need style. That's right, I'm talking card backs. I lost my match because my backs were whack. But the style of card backs and a player's skill don't have anything to do with each other. Oh, no, 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 that's where you're wrong, Mini Milan. It's just like how the strongest Oni Kabuto have the brightest colors on their back. If your cards look cool, then you'll definitely draw a better hand. 
Us, beetle fighting and playing TCGs are completely different. In cards, you actually have to rely on your own skill. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's no use arguing with you. Why don't we let our friend here weigh in, hmm? I think Shinob has a point. Actually, I think Nita has a point. Why don't we play a match and see? Hey, you're right. That's a pretty neat idea. How about this? Shinobu, lend me your deck. You've got some pretty slick card backs. Hmm, but the Traveler probably has cool card backs too. Maybe even better than yours. Okay, in that case, you can use my deck. Boss, how do I put this? Nobody could win with that deck of yours. No matter who uses it. Hey, quit busting my chops! Sheesh! What do you say, Traveler? You got time for a match now? Mm, okay, accept your challenge. Okay, so I'm Wait, supposed see? to lose. See, this is what I a call a true compadre. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I'll be the judge then. Just remember to take it easy, you two. This isn't a high-stakes match. It really doesn't matter who wins or loses. Oh, it does. No, do you guys hear that? It's the cry of my cards. Cheering me on in the wind. My cards, you mean? Mm, okay. Mm. Shouldn't she be? Oh. Actually, I'm not sure if she has a card already. There's probably two different cutscenes, depending, or at least the first line, depending if I win or lose. I don't know, what's that? I don't have that. Hmm. After your opponent's card is defeated, it's character. This card is attached to his this character, create your only. I don't think I'll use that. Hmm. Switch third character. That character. And use the normal attack. Mm -hmm. During this round, your first active character attacks the normal attack. This plus one. Oh, Alright, switch that one. We're gonna make this the most exhilarating TCG duel ever, compadre! Mm -hmm. I don't think either side will have a good time dealing with boss's deck. Time for some training? Him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me move the Let's I know it's just true, but this is an electro. One with my blade. Hi. I'll scout ahead. Out. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, me. No, I'm not using him still. This can be Creo. Yes, me three. Wasn't that supposed to be a uh, hyperconduct? What's that? Take this, compadre. I'm always watching. Damage. Oh. Uh. She's almost down. Right here. Bench. deck to thank for that. Mm, I'm pretty sure it's possible to win, but I don't know how. Oh, there's one... Mm. 
questions. I really don't know what to do. I to him. I don't have three of the same. I just deal with her. The fun is over. Nothing I've never seen. Oh. Hi. Ah. See you at the rematch. Time for some training. There's nothing I can do. Rest and rebuild. <sighs> oh, come on. Dead. Doesn't heal. I don't know if this will work. I just need somebody else alive here. Oh, but I'll miss... <laughs> Uh, I'll be missing a single Submit for judgment. <laughs> Boss, you're nice. gonna lose if you keep this up. Hey, chill. Let me show you what happens when numero uno goes mano a mano. Mano a mano? We're still talking about cards, right? Courage of evil remains. I hope this will attack me one day. Why? If I have one more dice, with style. I could have won. Yeah. Okay. I was supposed to have a bad hand. <laughs> See? My theory was correct. Don't let it get to you. You were using Boss's deck after all. Anyway, what are you two doing here? Actually, we were looking for Kokomi. Have you seen her around? Or, as Arataki numero uno idioso so eloquently called her, the Fish Lady. You're one to talk, Lavender Melon. Her match in the finals will be starting shortly, so she can't be far. Why don't you ask Kujo Sara over there? The Tenryo Commission is in charge of managing access to the venue and maintaining order. Hey, just remember that if you ever want to play another match, you can find me anytime. Hmm. 
What's up, compadre? You here to play another game? No, no. No worries. You go do what you gotta do. Oh. I'll see you later. Okay, after I complete everything, I'll give some thought. Inazuma's regional final, good Yaimiko of the damage. Oh, well, that's too much text. Inazuma's regional final, good Yaimiko of the Grand Alcarim Shrine will be facing off against Sanganomiya Kokomi. Sandy Mamamiya Kokomi. Divine Priestess of the Sandy Mamamiya Shrine. Will the Imperious Crash of Thunder make itself heard within the unfathomable depths? Uh, the revised hardcover version of King of Evocations is now available for purchase at all tournament venues. Free gift, gift of Forbidden Dice with each purchase. I'll always support a mix summer. She doesn't have a chance. I'm confident Madam Sagonomiya Kokomi will be the one that emerges victorious. In your dreams, why don't you put your money where your mouth is and bet on it? Bring it on, loser pays for dinner. Please abide by the tournament's tournament venue's rules and enjoy the tournament in a respectful manner. Hi, Sara. We're looking for Kokomi. Have you seen her anywhere? I saw her exit the venue after the semifinals, but she hasn't returned since. If you're looking for Her Excellency, I believe she's currently near the western shore of Rito. Goro! Good to see you! Hello, you two. Is there something the matter? No, we just wanted to say hello to Kokomi. Hmm. Now that I think about it, her opponent in the finals will be a tough one to beat. Who are you rooting for, Sara? Up till now, the Almighty Shogun had my full support, but now that she's been eliminated from the tournament, in truth, I don't really care. Paimon thought for sure you'd be rooting for Miko. I certainly would, in the past. But now that the islands of Narukami and Watatsumi are on amiable terms, we're all friends. Those are exactly Her Excellency's thoughts as well. The point of a game of cards between friends is to exchange skills and enjoy the game together. It's not about who wins or loses. She hopes that this spirit of friendly competition will define Inazuma going forward. Hmm. A commendable attitude. Her opponent is skilled in the art of deception. Even if she appears to have worry written all over her face, don't fall for it. She's likely trying to lead you into a trap. It's nice to see two generals who were once enemies on the battlefield now looking out for each other. Do not be mistaken. I speak only in the interest of fairness. The moment I saw the name Sangonomiya on the list of competitors, I anticipated that she would make it into the finals to face the Almighty Shogun. I've watched every one of her matches. She constantly adapts her strategy and excels at employing rare and unusual tactics. But after the Almighty Shogun's loss, I'm afraid that Lady Guji may also have caught wind of Kokomi's strategies. Oh, so you want to make sure Kokomi's got intel on the other side too? Wow, trust Sara to make sure everything is fair and above board. Hmm, thanks for your insights, General Kujo. I will be sure to pass them along to Her Excellency. Don't mention it. The match will be starting shortly. Please, let her know to get back to the venue soon. All right, then I'll get going. I hope the final goes smoothly. Everything should be fine. As long as that Oni manages to avoid causing a scene. I don't know, but... Even if she doesn't care about one or the other, she should root for the one who bested. My PC just crashed.
Okay, we're back. Um, okay. Time to go. Receptive, wasn't it? Paimon? Oh, and the traveler's here too. Surprised to see us? We came to wish you good luck in the competition. So, what are you doing out here, Kokomi? Taking in the view? Yes. The soothing sound of the ocean's waves do make me feel peaceful. But I actually came here hoping to see Watatsumi Island. Huh? Can you really see Watatsumi Island from here? Let Paimon take a look! Well, can you see it? Well, come on. Let's Let's play. see. Uh, oh, that must be Kanazuka. And a little further than that, there's Yashiori Island. Mm, nope, can't see Watatsumi. Even on a perfectly clear day like this, you can't see Watatsumi Island from Narukami Island. Imagine trying to see it when the islands were surrounded by storms. Though the islands are on peaceful terms now, the dark clouds of war still linger in some people's hearts. Even when friends argue, they still need time to reconcile. Think of how much time is needed when the conflicting sides could never even see each other. You okay, Kokomi? Oh, sorry. My mind was drifting to some more serious topics. You didn't try to me just play cards. You're competing for other reasons, too. Yes. I thought you might understand. Huh? What are you talking about? Who wins and who loses isn't what's most important. What's important is that Her Excellency came here to compete with all of Inazuma watching. Yes. More people will be traveling between Watatsumi and Narukami Island from this day forward. The point I hope to make is, even though we believe in different gods, we can all come together as friends by playing cards at the table. We should be willing to cooperate and assist one another in the future. You could say that I'm playing cards to help dissolve enmity. You're using a simple game of cards to drive major social change. Yes, that's a good way to put it. Besides, my passion has always been in tactics and strategy. How could I pass up the chance to play in a tournament for a strategic game like this? Oh, so you have your personal reasons to play too! <laughs> yes, partly. You should be careful of that fox lady. Even Sara warned us that she'll be a cunning opponent. Ah, <sighs> yes. It seems that you're not the only one who sees this tournament as a chance to resolve our differences, Your Excellency. Oh, that's good to hear. Don't worry, Paimon. I've already thought of a variety of stratagems for the match. Wow, Paimon's really looking forward to the final now. And Paimon swears that she's actually gonna see it this time. No matter what, Paimon won't let herself get distracted. Not even by all the tasty snacks in Inazuma. I'm also looking forward to it. Thank you. Alright, let's go. Inazuma's Archon bolts her way to the semifinals, only to be stunned by a crafty opponent. Ooh, that's a nice title. Lightning from Inazuma won't be able to reach me in Fontaine, right? <laughs> I don't think the Electro Archon would get upset over a minor thing like this. Hey, what are you two chatting about? 
Oh, wait a second. The real question is, how many times are we gonna run into Kirara? Talk about a coincidence, right? What are the chances? I interviewed a few people around Rito, but no more details on the card snatcher, unfortunately. After that, I ran into Kirara here. We got to chatting, and then I found out that she knew you, too. Sorry, you said... the card snatcher? Oh, let Paimon explain. Paimon to Sopam, I've seen this happen recently. Hmm... I think I already have some insights regarding the truth of this matter. Really? That fast? But it's a little complicated, and the finals are about to start. Let me put it this way, though. The key to this case is actually... Kirara. Huh? Oh, wait, what? Me? Having chatted with Kirara, I was starting to think the same thing. Sorry, I don't have time to explain now. We'll have to continue after the tournament's finished. Just focus on your match, Tommy. Uh, what should we do? Paimon's still trying to wrap her head around that. If Kokomi was only working off of what Paimon told her, how come Paimon can't find the answer? Oh, is Paimon really as dumb as a lavender melon? Yeah, don't worry about it. Let's watch the competition. You can think about it later. Welcome to the final round of the King of Invocations Grand Prix Inazuman Regional Final! Our contestants are... Guji Yai Miko of the Grand Narukami Shrine versus... Sangonomiya Kokomi, Divine Priestess of the Sangonomiya Shrine! Without further ado, let the final match begin! Yay, it's starting! Now, to find out who will play first. You took your time. I was starting to wonder if you got lost walking on the seabed, Miss Soul of the Deep. You must be tired after the walk back to shore. Perhaps I should let you go first? There's no need. I've heard that fried tofu with all the frills gets cold quickly. If we don't serve it right away, then I'm afraid it'll become a cold, greasy mess. Round one! Begin! It should play a close. And game. the winner is... Didn't we see? Sangonomiya Kokomi! The Divine Priestess from Watatsumi Island! She won! Kokomi did it! Whew. Just seeing that Kitsune Yokai made the fur of my tail stand on end. Sorry to keep you waiting. Congratulations, Kokomi. Thank you. That was a real nail-biter, but you did it! That Miko is a crafty one. Pretending she had no strategy and letting one of her own character cards get defeated? Then she played two cards from her hand that required to have lost a character card. She came pretty close to turning the match around. Goodness, what's all the commotion over here? Discussing something interesting behind my back? Uh, <laughs> not at all! Uh, Paimon was just saying what a real pity it was that you lost. <laughs> it's no pity at all. It was just a little fun competition. We'll see who wins next time. What do you say, Miss Soul of the Deep? How about a rematch? If Miss Fried Tofu with all the frills hasn't gotten too cold, I would be happy to play. However... The Traveler here is waiting for me to help them solve a puzzle they've been facing. Oh, really? Then I won't disturb you. I'll go play with Goro instead. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen those fuzzy ears of his. <clears throat> now, back to our conversation. Kirara, 
You've been delivering items between different nations for the past several days, correct? That's right. I've had quite a few deliveries recently. But what does that have to do with the card snatcher? The strange thing is that Kirara's delivery route has coincided with the card snatcher's movements at every turn. Yes, and therein lies the clue. You mean, Kirara is the card snatcher? Huh? Hey, that's not true. I'm just out here doing my job. You can't just throw false accusations at a person. Uh, I mean, a yokai like this? Calm down, you two. Kirara's not the thief. Let me ask you, Kirara. Have any of your packages in the past few days been from the same sender? Or were any sent to the same destination? Let me think. Senders have all been different. But there's one destination that keeps coming up in every region I've been to. Really? And what destination is that? Um... I'm not at liberty to give you the exact address, but I can tell you that it's in Sumeru. Were the contents light? No larger than the size of an envelope? Huh? Wait... You're not one of those yokai who has prophetic dreams, are you? I used to hear stories about that when I was curled up on my grandma's lap. <laughs> no, I'm only the divine priestess of Watatsumi Island. I just like to read light novels and books about military strategy. Divination's not my field. Well, after all I've said so far, have you arrived at the same answer as me? Let me think. Better again. The package is in her dress. Every nation Kirara visited had a parcel sent to Sumeru. The package appears. The contents were light and were no larger than an envelope. The package's contents are cards. The contents were probably genius invocation cards. Kirara's actions. We've run into Kirara multiple times throughout our trip. The cards not snatchers actions. We came to Inazuma because we tracked the thief here. Associate. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be any more leads. Hmm. Hmm. Those were yellow, I thought I'd check. Oh. Hmm. This is in Konami Express. The thief is likely using Komania Express to send packages. That. Kirara's deliveries contain the treasure chest card backs. Yeah, okay. That much was obvious. I thought I would discover who was the, the one behind it. Yes! You nailed it. Huh? So the card backs we've been looking for have been right under our noses all along? But there's still one thing that doesn't quite add up. Kirara picked up her package in Mondstadt before we encountered the card snatcher. The timing doesn't make sense. I've thought about that too. The way I see it, there's more than just one thief involved. We're trading on one but multiple card snatchers. Yes. The person you've been tracking most likely is one member of the group. It seems the other members had already obtained the cardbacks and sent them together. Hmm, now that I think about it, collecting all those cardbacks across so many nations would be near impossible for just one person. But why isn't the one we're following ever using Komania Express? Because he's too slow. He probably missed the arranged shipment date. Well, that's how I figure it, at least. From your explanation, he's only committed theft on one occasion, and there were even witnesses. After that, 
He's been trading or playing to collect the card backs. I suspect that this person isn't a very good thief. He probably used the mora he was given to arrange shipments with Comania Express as funds to use for trading. Then there's another question now. Why don't the other members just keep the cards and take them back to Samaru themselves? Unless there's a reason for them to stay. Yes, this is a question I'm still grappling with now. What is the thief's objective? What kind of secret is hidden behind these card backs? Unfortunately, there's no way to know without seeing one for ourselves. Uh, uh, hey, don't look at me like that. I can't just open a customer's parcel. If the company ever found out, I'd be fired on the spot. And I don't want to go back to being a yokai in the mountains of Inazuma. No, we don't want to cause you any trouble, of course. At this point... Maybe it would be best for you all to accompany Kirara to Sumeru. Good idea! Going to the delivery location is the only lead worth following now. And if the recipient really is a bad guy, then Kirara could be in danger! We should come along to make sure you're safe! Thank you, beautiful guys. Hey, I know my way around a fight too! I haven't had a single package stolen from me since I've started this job. Whenever someone picks on me thinking I'd be an easy target to take packages from, I send them running. safety. We have to get to the bottom of this mystery. Uh, let me think about it. All right, I'll let you come with me to the delivery point in Sumeru. But on one condition. You have to promise that you'll hide somewhere where the customer can't see you. Who's ever heard of a group of people delivering packages? No problem, you got it! Also, even if the customer is a bad guy and has stolen things, we should leave that for the local authorities to handle. Absolutely. We usually work with the local authorities. Next stop, Sumeru! Oh, we're really traveling all over the place this time. <laughs> Good luck. You'll have to tell me how everything turns out the next time we meet. Why isn't like Fontaine and the others participating on this event? Whoa! That match between Fox Lady and Fish Lady also, really got my blood kids. racing! Okay? This was practically boiling off my forehead. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm sure all of Rito knows how excited you are, but the gang's all waiting for us. We should be heading back now. Eh, they can wait a little longer. At least oh, let my okay. compadre and I play one last match. You can't say no to that. Pretty please? Uh, it's just too here <sighs> after a picture, I think. It's okay, I don't blame you. But you should probably leave. You don't want to see a grown Oni cry. <laughs> General Kujo, can I have a word with you? Yes. Congratulations on your victory, Sangonomiya Kokomi. I wanted to express my gratitude for the helpful advice you provided before the match. It was nothing. Anyone with a good head on their shoulders knows that skill and strategy ultimately determine the winner. In any case, it was an exciting match to watch. It was unfortunate that you didn't register for the tournament as well. I'm afraid I'd be no match for you. Don't say that. You're not so different from me. Seeking chances to hone your skills in the game, considering countermeasures, and competing with others as if they're friends? Perhaps you have a point. In that case, let's play a match of Genius Invocation before you depart for Narukami Island. It would be my pleasure. Okay, then we go left. Oh. I heard you refer to the opponent as a Kitsune Yokai earlier. Could you tell me a little more about that? Don't leave out any details. Who knows? Maybe there's something I'll be able to use in my news piece. Oh, I better not. I'm afraid of saying something wrong. Besides, I'm not really the most qualified Yokai to answer questions. Okay, then maybe you could help explain why a Kitsune would have any interest in fried tofu? Uh. Now your questions are making me hungry. Why don't I just take you to try some Kitsune ramen here in Inazuma? I can explain while we eat. 
Okay. Goro, nowhere. Time to go. Oh yeah, I found her to wait. We don't know if they are a group of thieves. We just know of one guy that still one time. And the only guy obsessed with cars that we know is Sino. So he probably fired them, but didn't know this guy would go that far to get them. The cards backs. Are we getting close? Which way should we go now? We just need to head a short way towards the desert. It's not far. I would recommend taking a bodyguard to protect you. If the customer does turn out to be rotten, you can let the bodyguard deal with them. Good point. Hmm. A bodyguard. We all fight. Oh, <laughs> oh look! Isn't that Sino? Good to see you. Headed to Caravan Rebot? We are. Paimon, we can't just disclose the customer's information. Huh? Oh, don't worry. This is Sumeru's General Mahamatra Sino. He's the leader of the Matra and always takes criminal activity very seriously. Wow. How do you know so many powerful people? <laughs> you better get used to it, Kirara. You wouldn't believe the people I've met since I started traveling with them. Do you have some time now, Sino? Or do you need to go participate in the Genius Invocation Tournament? Tournament? <laughs> the tournament has already finished. Really? Then how did you do, Sino? I am now the official king of invocations. <laughs> did you crush the competition? I used Forbidden Hand at the opportune moment and drew... Uh... <clears throat> I, uh... I can explain it later. Anyway, I have time. Great. Let Paimon catch you up on what's happening. After Paimon explains for some time. Ugh. Paimon's parched now. How many times is Paimon gonna have to explain everything? I can accompany you. As Paimon said, it's my duty to uphold the rules and punish evil. What do you think, Kirara? All right. But remember, you all should hide while I'm delivering the parcel. I know that this customer is suspicious, but they're still my customer until we have any concrete proof otherwise. Okay, we'll go hide. But if we're too far away, we won't be able to hear anything you're saying. How will we know if you're in trouble? Not a problem. You can just watch my tails. Your tails? You mean both of them? Of course, both of them. I'll 
come up with a way to have the customer confirm the contents of the package. If they turn out to be just an ordinary customer and the package doesn't contain the card backs, then I'll lower both of my tails. That'll mean you can just stay hidden. But if they turn out to be the thieves we're after, then I'll... Lay down. Huh? Why would she do that? It'd be a signal that we need to lay down the law. Oh! No way! I'm not getting on the ground! That would be way too embarrassing! Besides, don't you think that would look suspicious? You think so? Then maybe you can use your tails to pound your back. Oh, uh, and why would she do that? Simple. It'd be signal that she had found the backs we're looking for. Isn't he in rough modes now? Since... This is the first time I've met someone as creative with their words as I am. Have you ever considered a career in writing news headlines, Sino? Oh no, don't enable him! Okay, if we keep standing around talking like this, the package is going to be late. Listen to me. If they're the thieves, I'll lift one tail up and keep the other one down. If you see that, then you can come round them up. You're not going to lay down? No, I'm not laying down! Approximately 100 paces down the road from Caravan Rebot towards the desert, near the first flaming flower. That's the most suspicious address Paimon's ever heard! Near the first flaming flower... Oh! We're here! Huh? There aren't any houses around here. Mm, maybe the recipient planned on coming here to personally receive the package. I've had customers do that in the past. Uh, we're still a little early. Uh, in the meantime, why don't the rest of you go find a place to hide? And remember, watch my tails for the signal. Customer will be here soon, so be sure to stay out of sight. <laughs> we'll hide here. This spot is hidden, but with a clear view. I'm unsure this recipient's up to no good. Who'd pick up a package in a place like this? I agree. But for the sake of her company's reputation, we'll let her tell us what to do. <laughs> oh. uh. What? As in her tails? Yeah, yeah, we get it. If they're raiding behind the rocks for a while. You from Komoni Express? That's right. You must be Mr. Dada Baba. Where's the package? Uh, yes, this is your package. Here you go. Hmm. I recommend that you open it and confirm the contents. I've been running to many places the past few days through all sorts of weather. The contents may have shifted, so it's best to check that everything's intact. No need. You haven't opened it to see what's inside, have you? Of course not. That would be against our company policy. But if the contents are valuable, I would still recommend checking them first. If anything turns out to be damaged, I could compensate you now. 
I said no need, didn't I? Why are you so persistent? You know, boss, this little lady's out here all on her own. We could use that to our advantage, you know. Hey, you. Are you the only one delivering out here? Uh-huh. Uh, uh yes, that's right. I, I wouldn't bring a bunch of people with me to deliver a package. Uh, oh. I'm no good at lying. And I can't keep my tails from moving everywhere. Look, she's getting a signal. But, wait. Uh, Paimon doesn't recognize that signal at all. <sighs> Uh, the, I nearly forgot. The, this just happens to be my 100th delivery. It's a really special moment for me. If you could let me know what I delivered, it would mean a lot to me. Her tails are moving all over the place. Does she need us to step in or not? Her tails keep moving and intertwining. They keep pointing in different directions. Ah, maybe she's trying to say that she mixed up her directions. These people aren't the intended recipients. Seriously? There's no way anyone could get all that just from her tails. Something's not right. I can feel it. And you seem real concerned about this package, Missy. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, that's... Just part of my job. We always care about the customer. Are you really not going to open it? Come on, boss. Just... Enough talk. Oh, yeah, nobody will ever know anything happened way out here. Uh, th then do you have a moment to leave a five star review? <laughs> sure. I'll leave a five star review after you're dead. Boss, she's got backup. What are you afraid of? Get him! Huh? Wait, that that Sino, the General Mahamatra. S Sino? We're gonna fight. Mm. Oh, I haven't tested her yet. We, we wouldn't have. Too late for that. And I don't want to hear any whining from you two either. Clear? Y yes C Crystal clear. General Mahamatra, I, I don't want to go to prison. Can't you just let us off this one time? That depends on how honest you are. We'll tell you everything. It was tempted murder. What's inside the package? Cardbacks. Genius Invocation TCG card bags that we collected from different nations. Are they the kind with a treasure chest design on them? Y yeah, that's right. Wait, how'd you know that? Who are you and why are you stealing card bags? We're, we're just a group of treasure hoarders. That's all. Some hoarders were getting fed up recently with just stealing small stuff. They wanted to, uh... 
Go on. They wanted to pull off something big. You know, not just in one nation. All across Tevat. All across Tevat? Yeah, we were planning to steal prized treasures from different nations all at the same time. After pulling off a job like that, everyone would recognize us treasure hoarders as the most powerful organization across the world. But, uh, seems like that's not gonna happen now. So what does any of that have to do with these card backs? Well, the problem was we didn't know how to communicate our master plan to all the other treasure hoarders. But with how popular Genius Invocation TCG has become recently, somebody suddenly came up with the idea to use cards as a way to communicate our plans without being detected. Hmm. Okay. So you were the ones who printed these card backs. Yeah, because every treasure hoarder knows what to do once they see a treasure chest. First you bury it so no one else can take it, then just add a little bit of... Hey, sh shut it! You're giving away all our plans! <laughs> it appears you consider this ridiculous plan of yours more valuable than your own life. Uh, no, 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 I'll talk, I'll talk. All you need to do is cover it with some wet dirt or sand, then wipe it off after a while. And it'll look like this. My fellow hoarders, this is the big job we've all been waiting for. Take up your daggers, put on your masks, and round up your sumter beasts. Oh, and for those of you without sumter beasts... <laughs> Seriously? That's all it says? Ugh, what a waste! Hey, what do you mean, waste? That message will mobilize the treasure hoarders! Uh -huh. uh, he, he's right. The time and the other details are printed below that. Mm. That time on C. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Objectively speaking, it's definitely a creative method of communicating information. But then why were you trying to retrieve these card backs? It's all because some fellow hoarders got addicted to genius invocation. All they needed to do was stick to the plan, but they couldn't help themselves and started playing the game. Not only that, they were even using our card backs and showing them off. But that wasn't the worst of it. Some of them ended up losing our card backs to other players. Ah, you were afraid that your plans would be exposed, so you dispatched members to quickly retrieve the card backs that had been scattered into the markets. Not just the ones on the markets. We collected all our treasure chest card backs and we had them shipped back. We feared that our plans had already been discovered, so we were preparing to print another set of card backs. They would indicate a different time to initiate the operation, and we'd redistribute them. But to take every precaution, we raised funding for everyone to send us the backs via Comini Express. That way, we could guarantee the card backs would arrive safely and on time. Huh? Oh, uh, thanks for the compliments. So the senders would stay at their original location to ensure that the operation could continue moving forward. Now that I think about it, that must be why the treasure hoarders came after the person who sold the card back in Mondstadt. Oh, right! It's no wonder we were running into the treasure hoarders left and right. They wanted to be sure that anyone involved stayed quiet. There. I told you everything I know. Hopefully that will help us make up for our mistakes. Please, Mahamatra Sino, show us mercy. You'll each receive your due punishment. Enough talk. Come with me. You follow Sino back to Carvel Ribat? I've taken care of the criminals for now. I'll be escorting them back to Sumeru City shortly. Thanks for your help. I was only fulfilling my duty. You all did well. Sino seems like a completely different person when he's working. All right. Goodbye for now. Oh, wait, wait, wait! I still want to interview the champion of the Sumero Regional Tournament! All right. Go ahead. Tell me, Mr. Sino, what were your thoughts about the tournament? And did you have anything to say about the treasure hoarder incident? Hmm... Genius Invocation TCG is a very good game, but to me, 
It's not just a game. It's an art form. It allows people to meet others, make friends, and experience the joy of dueling together. I hope everyone can have the chance to experience the fun of playing this game. Great answer. That'll be a perfect ending for my news piece. Therefore, I assure you that I will personally bring judgment to any criminals out there with the delusions of desecrating this game with their evil plans. No matter where you run, or where you hide, you will not escape the punishment of lightning. Oh, uh, <laughs> I see. Uh, let's stay calm, no need to get worked up. Now let me think. Hmm, not so genius thieves behind mysterious treasure chest card back plot finally. Um... Got decked? You get it? Like cards and punching? Yes, that'll work nicely. Ah, <sighs> these two make quite the team when it comes to words. If that's all, then I should get going. I'll inform the other areas not to be gained by these thieving treasure hoarders. Okay, see, sign all. Let's break King of Jeans vacation next time. We will. So in the end, it turned out that the group of card snatchers we were tracking was the treasure hoarders all along. Still feels a little disappointing, though. Paimon thought for sure those card backs would lead us to some valuable treasure. Should Don't say that. Well. Think of the bright side. We uncovered a major international crime scheme. Oh, I definitely have everything I need for my exclusive news piece. If anything, Paimo regrets that we didn't get to see the mysterious inventors of Genius Invocation TCG. <laughs> it seems everyone can't stop talking about that game. It's just fun to play cards. In that case... How would everyone like to join me for a very special delivery? Huh? You mean it's related to Genius Invocation TCG? Mm-hmm. That's right. You'll understand when we get there. I would have invited Sino along too if he wasn't busy with work. Oh, really? But didn't you say before that you can't disclose customer information? Yeah, but this time the situation's different. Let's just say... This delivery wasn't assigned to me by the company. This package had been sitting at the company for some time because we could never locate the recipient. Even the neighbors didn't know where you went. Oh, so the company eventually took ownership of the package? Yep. The holding period passed just last month. But can't you just return it to the original sender? Well, it turns out the sender has passed away. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, and I thought both the original sender and intended recipient would be disappointed if this package is left undelivered. So, I took the initiative and started asking around Sumeru in my free time. Eventually, I found out where the recipient went and also learned a little about his past. Wow, amazing! So who is it? Well, <laughs> you'll have to come with me and see. I have a feeling that it'll be good to have some true genius invocation TCG players like you come along. Oh, sounds like another news story brewing. I'll tag along as well. Huh? Oh, now Paimon's really curious. What do you think, Traveler? Shall we join her? Of course, it's her duty. Yes, this is All right, place. then follow me to Vimara Village. Clues pointed to Vimara Village, but I'm not sure of which house they live in exactly. Guess we'll have to ask around. Any idea what the recipient looks like? I only know his name is Garvapidum and that he's a scholar from the Academia. Garvapidum, got it. Do you know where 
Marva paid him lives? Hmm, uh, I'm afraid I've never heard that name before. Uh, he's a scholar from the Academia. Oh, yes, there is a scholar around here, but I've never heard anyone go by the name you mentioned. Uh, are you sure you've got the right name? Uh, actually, I'd like to ask him a few questions myself regarding which of the six Darshans to join. Hmm, sounds like he doesn't know. Let's go ask someone else. Garva Pitum? I've never heard of him. Oh, wait, uh, do you mean that newcomer that arrived a few days ago? Oh, someone just moved here? Yes, that's right. He looked pretty anxious, though, almost like he's struggling to complete a thesis. I've seen him speaking with the village head, probably looking for a place to stay. Vimar Village is the perfect place to take a vacation and relax, which is why I chose to come back here. Got it! Thank you! We'll go talk to the head of the village. Don't mention it. If life is ever treating you hard, you can always come and live here for a while. That's the day. Yes, that's me. Go ahead. Do you know where a scholar by the name of Garva Pitum lives? We'd like to talk to him. Garva Pitum. Ah, that must be him. You know him? Yes, I do. He came here to rent a place to stay. He said he needed to unwind a little. But hardly anyone's ever seen him come out since he moved in. He doesn't seem to be very outgoing. I don't know if that's his way of unwinding. But I'd say he's just keeping himself cooped up. Are you friends of his? Yeah, you could say that. Hmm, her tails are moving again. Is that what happens whenever she tells a lie? Ah, I see. I was thinking that it'd be good for some friends to check up on him. He's staying up above. Look for the house in the corner. You should be able to find him there. Great! Thank you very much! Don't mention it. I just want to see people who come here be happy. Time to go. Okay. Oh. Um, just that it's a researcher. That thought maybe I could have something to do. There's a lot of great stuff here. Don't miss out. <laughs> Um, hello? Anybody home? We're looking for Garva Pitum. Yes, that's me. Can I help you? Hello, Mr. Garva Pitum. I'm Kirara. I have a delivery from Comania Express. I'm afraid the package is quite late. A package. For me. Yes, it's from a Mr. Gulab. What? Gulab? But how is that possible? Yes, it seems your friend submitted the package to our company before he passed. Friend? <laughs> Some friend I am. 
There was nothing I could do about his illness. And I wasn't by his side during the last moments of his life. Don't say that. After all, you and Gulab are the creators of Genius Invocation TCG. I'm sure Gulab would have been happy to know how popular the game has become. Say what? He's one of the creators of Genius Invocation TCG? <sighs> Why? Why does it seem that misfortune always befalls geniuses like him? Um, if you don't mind, perhaps you could talk to us about it. It would probably help you feel better. <sighs> You're right. Maybe I should tell you. You really wouldn't mind listening? Mm, I think you should be aware she's from the news. But okay, sure you can talk to us. Alright then. It's not much of a story, really. I knew Gulab ever since we were kids. We were classmates and grew up together. Other than the bandages on his arms, you could hardly tell he had Elazar. He was always positive, peaceful, and kind. Later, we both entered the Academia, and he became a Ratawahis Dastur. If I remember correctly, that's a pretty high position. <laughs> yes, he really was that smart. But before long, the Elazar got worse and led to some serious complications. After that, he became bedridden. He received treatment in the hospital, but had to abandon his research. I would go see him in the hospital every day, even though he said there was no need for me to visit so often. He must have been worried that he was taking time from your own research. I know. But I couldn't bear to just leave him like that. He was clearly the smarter of the two of us. We would have some free time whenever I visited him, so we took some cards and started painting them. Over time, those cards became the basis for Genius Invocation TCG. A game that was born from friendship. It's not only a game. When we were designing it, I deliberately incorporated some theoretical knowledge of the elements. I was originally waiting for him to recover, so we could study the subject together. But in the end... Aw, don't be sad. Genius Invocation TCG is the result of your research together. Not to mention, a lot of people are enjoying it now. <sighs> After he passed away, I tried to play the game with someone else. But every time I looked up, all I could see was his silhouette. It was as if he was still sitting there at the table. I know it was all in my head, though. Ah, <sighs> Paimon understands. Paimon wouldn't ever be able to get used to being away from the Traveler. Paimon would probably find herself talking to the wind, as if the Traveler could hear. Yes, everyone else has told me that I have to move on and embrace the fun of Genius Invocation, saying that I'm one of its creators. But to be honest, without Gulab, what meaning does the game have anymore? Garvapitam, perhaps you should see what your friend sent you in the package. Uh, right. Hmm, what's this? A letter? My dear friend, you must be wondering why I'm leaving you a letter like this. It's because... Hey, Gulab, I'm here. How are you feeling today? I gotta tell you, I had an idea for another card last night. Huh? What's that you're writing? <laughs> it's nothing. <sighs> oh, 
Okay. Anyway, up for a game? You don't have to visit every day, you know. You should be focusing on your work at the academia. Hey, enough of that. I'll keep visiting until you've fully recovered. Besides, I can't stand most of the folks at the academia anyway. Hey, it's your turn. <coughs> Gula, are you okay? <coughs> Garvapitam, you must understand. My Elazar. Hey, don't talk like that. You just need some more rest. <sighs> it's because you won't come to terms with the fact that I don't have long left. Guess what? This game we invented is getting pretty popular here in the hospital. Really? That's great news. Yeah. I've even made a device to help people find other players nearby. Here, this one's for you. This way, you'll be able to keep playing even after I'm- Just stop! You're gonna get better, you hear me? I don't need this thing. I don't want it! I imagine the casket of tomes I gave you is probably gathering dust in a corner somewhere. So, this is my last gift to you. I'm sorry that I could only give it to you now. Do you remember when we first met? You were the only one willing to be friends with the kid with Elazar. Now it's my turn to help you make some new friends. This way, I'll always be by your side, my friend. Gulab, that rascal, he was always this way. I haven't played much Genius Invocation myself. All I know is that it has brought joy to a lot of people. As a true TCG player put it, the game allows many people to meet others, make friends, and experience the joy of dueling together. That's right! We've seen that firsthand on our journeys recently. Paimon can tell you those stories if you're interested. Thank you all for your kind words. Your friends never truly leave. They stay with us in the form. You're right. <laughs> Gulab. Is that what you were thinking when you left this letter? I've always kept your casket of tomes with me. It was so special for you to draw me a card like this. What a waste it is to never have used it. If he were here now, I know he'd say... Hey friends, how about a game of Genius Invocation TCG? Well, what do you say? I'd be happy to. You play enjoyable match for change of location if you got the punch. Garvapidum seems to be Garfidum. feeling better. Paimon even saw him crack a smile when he was playing just now. It always takes time to heal from pain from the past, but I think this is a good start for his road to recovery. Yeah. It was a good thing that Kirara kept track of that package, even when they were unable to deliver it. When my boss asked me to take care of it, I had a feeling that it must somehow be delivered. I couldn't just let it be abandoned. Would you say that was your yokai intuition kicking in? Maybe, uh, I'm not sure. I guess I just didn't want to let the sender sentiment go to waste like that. Anyway... I think this is where we'll say goodbye. Oh. Uh, are you going back to Fontaine now? That's right. Who would have guessed that I'd still get such a quality story after the tournament had finished? It's going to take me a few days just to draft the articles alone. Oh, by the way, I still haven't had the chance to interview you two all this time. After
After all that we've witnessed on this journey together, do you have anything you'd like to say? We made a lot of new friends, learned a lot about Jenny's invocation to see she... Yeah! You could say the best thing we got out of this adventure was the new friends we made. I understand. I'll be sure to work your comments into my exclusive news piece. Just be sure to buy a copy of the Steambird when you visit Fontaine. And I should get ready to head back to Inazuma. I still have to report everything to my boss. Take care, everyone. Will do. I'm sure we'll all see each other again soon. And maybe we'll play Genius Invocation TCG if we have the chance. No, it's done. Okay, now it's those challenges. Okay, uh, I'll leave the challenges tomorrow. And if I cannot battle Ito again, there are leaves around, tomorrow. and I know just the tune. Hmm? Was it supposed to open here? Is that a one of those items or an actual card? It's an actual card. Um, back. What does that do? That doesn't matter. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. Friendship Eternal. Players with less than four cards in their hand draw cards until their hands has four cards in it. Yeah, okay. No, scarves. Okay, um, just... Let's try to get Miko. Mm -hmm. you know, let's make that. Yeah. Alright. And with that, I'm off. <laughs>